Mm -hmm. I'm out of Azani. What are we doing? Oh, coffee cup in the mouth. Mount Rushmore of hands over there. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're doing with them stupid hands. I told you. They're going to, like, bow to those hands in 3,000 years. They're going to call those things gods for a while. Until somebody comes down with, like, a couple of commandments from a mountaintop. It's going to happen all over again. But at first, they're going to be like worshipping things. Them hands. Yeah. It's like, whoa, we came across these freaking stone monoliths in the desert. No. They didn't dig deep enough into the dirt. It's sunny. Sonny, Sonny's there. He's still holding the freaking cough cup. They only caught the one knuckle. They're like, oh my goodness. We found this amazingly massive stone pillar coming out of the ground. It's one of his freaking digits. Only a single digit. You didn't see that thing? Go out of there. The other thing they totally worship above all that his stupid mongoloid hands is Ben Affleck's ridiculously massive head. I'm not sure if you saw Affleck's head. Basically, there's a planet, planetary system that's circling it. They thought it was the sun. They were misguided. They're like, oh, look, there's the sun. <laughs> no, it's Ben Affleck with that massive freaking noggin. You didn't know? I'm sorry, hold on, no, no, no. Ben Affleck, <laughs> he goes, like, sometimes, he goes into car dealerships, and they have to bill him for all the cars, because when he walks in there, he basically, like, destroys things with that head. That nog pushes things out the freaking plate glass window. They're like, look, we got the plate glass, it's play fine. Nope, not for Affleck. How dare you? Are you kidding me? He, he's... It's like when you saw that old Nickelodeon show when they do like the slime and it comes pouring out the windows. Yeah, that's what you do with Affleck's head. Everything pours out. Freaking Affleck. You can't even watch a sporting event. It's worse than Cove. Worse than the Cove. Yeah, Affleck. You kidding me? I've, had to, I've lost days traveling. Just they have to go around Affleck. You can't go to the store today. I'm sorry. Affleck's in town. You're gonna have to drive around. What? Four days later, I got to the freaking food store, picked up milk. My wife was like, where the freak is the milk? I've been waiting three and a half days. I'm sorry, honey. Affleck. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is the biggest one. All the crazy weather that's happening right now, it's Affleck. Yeah, you didn't know Affleck. How dare you? Hold on now, man. Affleck. <laughs> He's the basic reason for all earthquakes. Yeah. I can't believe you never heard of the Affleck resonance. <laughs> Sonny, what are we doing? You got Affleck resonance here? They have no idea. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, it's, it's because of the Schumann resonance. No, how dare you? How dare you? You think you know? I got a freaking planet walking around this planet. Yeah, the form of Ben Affleck. They can't make a cabin in a car big enough for that freaking head. They got to do custom. I'm sorry. It's custom work with Affleck. It all started. He was a seven-year-old. They needed a suit for a special event. Communion. Proud of you, Ben. They're like, look, we need to figure out how to get a suit around this freaking kid's head. <laughs> what are we doing, Sonny? Sonny. So they call the tuxedo shop. Tuxedo shop's guy's like, look, I'm, I'm out of options. I don't got enough thread for that head. We got to call Hollywood. They call Bino Gangukic. This guy, he's an all-time great, okay? Bino, this guy, he takes a look at this noggin on Ben Affleck, right? He's like, not, not a problem, I got it. 
Pino? You got it, Pino? Don't confuse him with Gino. Pino, you got it? How dare you, Pino? Pino comes back with this ridiculous tuxedo. The shirt, you could probably run that shirt like around a dryer and it's gonna have a problem. You're gonna break the dryer. Yeah, because by the time it flips through once, it's stuck inside. Also, if you're looking to dry, like, I don't know, let's call it 5,000 cars, you could take a portion of that stupid shirt they made for him, right? Just wipe the car down. 5,000 cars. By the time you get the car 5,000, you still got like a quarter left of dry. <laughs> yeah. This is the biggest freaking shirt collar you've ever seen in your life. So we could pull, pull it over the equator size head, right? They pull it down. <laughs> Once he's got it down, they worked in like a cinch sack type of thing. So he could kind of bring it back in. Because when you bring that thing over the nog of the hundred and a half leg, you created like the biggest hole in history around that shirt. It started like big already. They made it for him. They made it for him. It was perfect for him. Oh, look, it's perfect. Still, when he suction cupped it over, that freaking thing almost ripped. They didn't calculate for humidity. Affleck goes to the special communion. Destroyed the building. They're like, we got him as tux, though. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, they got him a tux, though. That was important. He at least had that one moment before he destroyed the building and killed 15 people. As a seven year old, that's gotta be a freaking nightmare. Go sleep that night. Knowing it was your fault, bunk. <laughs> <laughs> adventure just killed me when I was a kid. This freaking, like, character walking with a massive head. Like a freaking Affleck head. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that a scene from Mallrats when I was 19 remind, has given me so much freaking content for this show on the Affleck effect. On the Affleck resonance. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't know about the Affleck. <laughs> Hold on, no, no, no. The Affleck Resonance. This freaking guy is connected to all things, all matters, all events on this planet. You saw that hailstorm? Affleck. Yeah. The media that almost hit the freaking planet? That was Affleck. That was the gravitational field of Affleck pulling on the asteroid. He's like, mm, come over here. Bang into my freaking noggin so I can break you into pieces. We got a Category 5 media coming to planet Earth. 
It's over for us. It's too late. We can't stop it. We got nothing. We can't use a loke. We can't send nothing up there and blow it into pieces. Hold on now, man. This guy over here has a brilliant idea. You ever heard of Ben Affleck? Let's send Affleck in the path, and he can create some sort of force-like field, right? When that asteroid the size of Texas makes its way to planet Earth, it will just disintegrate once it hits Affleck's head. There you go, we're good to go, right? I mean, we're basically, you got the force of space coming at planet Earth, right? This thing's been traveling for millennia, coming through space directly at planet Earth. Where could it just set up Ben Affleck? He could stand there, right? I don't think he'll even know what's going on, all right? But he'll stand there. First of all, all you got to do is put him within range. That freaking head does the rest. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How about you? You, what? You can't Armageddon it? You can't Ben Affleck in Armageddon style. He was freaking in the movie. He was already in the movie. They couldn't just say, look, we're not going to create a, a bomb. We're just going to use your freaking head, Ben. Before you marry Liv, you selfish bastard. <laughs> you let Bruce Willis die. How dare you? Sonny! Ben Affleck! He lets Bruce Willis die. Instead of using that stupid noggin he's got. <laughs> oh, Oh, my goodness. Four hours and one minute into the show, Sonny. What are we doing? Freaking stupid noggin. So let me get this straight. You got a chance to save Bruce Willis. Your fiance's father. In the movie, he was much better as John McClane. Nakatomi Plaza, 86, Die Hard. However, he's there. You got a chance to save him, right? He goes down surface on this freaking asteroid, right? We're gonna bore a hole! We're gonna put in the freaking thing! yippee ki mother, right? You go down there, right? You're like, look, Bruce, let me have a conversation with you real quick, all right? I know they sent us here to use the C4, right? and the nukes, we drop them down there a couple miles down, we take off, everybody's good. Why don't you get back in the freaking ship, right? Forget about this stupid freaking bore you're doing. Let me crack my noggin on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me crack my noggin on it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Holy cow. <sighs> Bruce, go take it. Put it in safekeeping. Go get on the line. Your daughter needs to speak to you. No, 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 no. Go just go. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on the guys real quick. Yeah, no, no, you. <laughs> you could. Just go tell your daughter you love her, okay, and come back. We're gonna switch a room. Hup. We're gonna switch a room, okay? You tell your daughter you love her. When you come back, and then I'll go. And we're good. Let me see if I can do something, though. Give me a minute. Just no. <laughs> Yo, check it out, guys. Look. I need you to get the hell out of here, okay? I'm gonna bang the... <laughs> I can't. Every time I think about Ben Affleck smacking his stupid lug on something, I break down, man. Holy cow. Oh, it's killing me. If we can visualize Ben Affleck, I'm banging my freaking head on the ground there. If we're going to put a hole and crack off just a piece, okay? I think if I hit him with enough Affleck force, 
<laughs> if I hit it with enough athletic force, we may knock it off course. With enough athletic force, we can knock it off course. Call NASA! Call NASA, sonny! Let him know we got a new slogan. With enough act like force, we can knock it off course. Sonny, you still drinking the coffee? You can't share that freaking beautiful slogan with NASA? <laughs> I can't figure. Affleck. That freaking nog is unbelievable. Scaling that must be like. It's got to be the size of Mount Rushmore, right? If you put Ben Affleck's head on at Mount Rushmore, I wonder if, if it would be the scale. I think it would be like, you get his eyeball on Rushmore. I think you got like a couple pieces of strands of hair. And people go by, they're like, oh, look at those four presidents. And they're like, what's that over there? They're like, oh, that's just... Basically, they tried to do to scale Ben Affleck, and what was there, what was fitting, is like three three pieces of hair. Yeah, you know, right? You know, when they were like, "Oh, we're gonna declassify Pluto," it's because they realized it was Affleck. They're like, "Oh my goodness, we've been calling Ben Affleck Pluto forever." <laughs> Galileo. Galileo! Copernicus. Who else can I think of? Da Vinci. They're like, look at that Pluto over there. No. Affleck. You got Affleck resonance, you got Pluto, Affleck, Pluto. And then, of course, don't forget, Ben Affleck is also our savior one day. He will. Bonk's adventure. A stupid asteroid. Coming at planet Earth? It's gonna take one for the team. But not really. Like, there's no freaking competition. That asteroid, gone. Gone. He headbutts it like I had like a headbutt like a soccer ball. Except it hurts me when I had a soccer ball in my head. That guy, there's something wrong. That, with that freaking head. He got into like an accident with somebody once. Like, it was like one of those things where they were in like they were holding something and a piano fell. Piano broke. Yeah. Crazy. Right? Hodge! How about y'all? Holy cow, guys. Four hours, seven minutes in. We did a lot of Fotch there. Hi, boys. How are you? I like your shirt. Star Wars. It is a nice shirt, isn't it? Uh. Oh, my goodness. Did you? Is that you? It, it was clearly you. Oh, my. Did he just fart on the elevator? Yes, he just farted on the elevator. Disgusting. Totally. Oh my god, get away. Just get away from us. You're terrible. That smelly butt. Do you mind if I get closer to you? I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Not much. Hey, how's it going there, fellas? What's your shirt? Star Wars. Star Wars. What are you, a little seven year old? How dare you? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Did you just... <laughs> Is that you? Uh, are you? You're about to get an elbow in the farch. You can't fart. Did he just fart on the, the elevator? Yeah, he just fought in the elevator. I'm going to stand closer to you. Disgusting is right. You're a pig. You ever been elbowed in the farch? How dare you? 
Hey, how you doing? What's up? Not much. Excuse me, how you doing? <laughs> like your shirt, Star Wars. I'm not wearing a Star Wars shirt, what are you talking? Oh, him. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Are you freaking... <laughs> Did you just... Oh my God. Is that you? It, it was you, are you kidding? You want an elbow in the fudge? Did he just fart on the elevator? Yeah, he just farted on the... How dare you? Disgusting. It's disgusting, Is right. I can't think of you. You can fart on the elevator. I'm gonna kick this guy. What are we doing over here? Hey, how you doing? What's up? Not much. Hi, boys. Star Wars. It does have a nice shirt. Oh my goodness. Did you just? Is that you? It was not, it was clearly you. Are you kidding me? Farted on the elevator? On the elevator? Yes, he just farted. Right. You're disgusting. I'm sorry, do you mind if I get closer to you? This guy's gross. Get away. I'm gonna call the super. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? What's up? Oh, hold the door. Hold the door. Can you push eight for me? Thank you. Like your shirt. Star Wars. Thank you. Oh. Him. Okay. Whatever. Uh, oh, my goodness. Are you? Oh, my God. Are you? you? No. It was you. Are, it was him. Are you? Did he just fart on the elevator? Yeah. He just farted right in the elevator. You're disgusting. disgusting. Get the hell away from us. Get, I'm going to get close to you. Do you mind? You're a pig. Freaking rock and roller. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Not much. Like your shirt. Star Wars. Gentlemen. Uh. Is that you? What? The freaking elevator vibrated. Did you just fart on the elevator? Yeah. This guy, seismic. Over here. What's, what did you eat? What the hell? Oh, are you kidding me? You're freaking gross, dude.